What's up, YouTube? Tristan Blaze back again. Another episode, Fifty Shades of Way. Quad work, getting those quads up. Oh, sorry for the delay. I, for those who don't know, I am a meme war veteran. And I got another meme war going on in France right now with their election, so, um, you know, shit's a little delayed because of it. Don't worry, once that shit is done and Le Pen gets elected, hopefully... Uh, I'll, I'll be a little bit, you know, more punctual with my uploads. So here we go. Here's our Wednesday workout. April 26th, got our 5x5 five five squat routine. Doing uh, 210 now. Uh, the entire routine, the squats, the hacks, the leg press, remaining deadlift curls, it really only took me about an hour and five minutes. So when people sit there and they're doing legs and I see them do this shit and it takes them like two hours to do like half the fucking volume, I, I don't I, I don't see why they're complaining why their leg development isn't any good. I mean, my leg development I don't think is good, but guys in the gym say it is. So I, I don't really know. Um, Because I squat twice a week, I'm sticking with the same weight for squats for the entire week. So I'm going to do like 210 on Wednesday, 210 on Saturday. And then the next week, if I can do those, I'm going to go ahead, add another five pounds, stuff like that. You know, that that's how I'm going to progress. Now, for some reason, the way I've angled this fucking camera, that looks like there's a box or a, a bench under me that's actually just like a fucking uh, a little um, pad that we have on a, a on the floor. That's n actually was not intended for me to do. I did not intend for that to happen. It just I just noticed it and it looked really fucking cool. All in all, so far, I've been doing this routine for about two weeks. It, it feels good. I like the routine. It feels good. Um, it's not. I mean, in terms of the gym work. You know the work in the gym, doing all that stuff. It feels, it it feels good. You know that one day I didn't drink enough fluids and my fucking left quadriceps started cramping a little bit. Not, you know that notwithstanding. Yeah, everything's pretty fucking badass. I like it. It's pretty fucking cool. I like recording the squats from the side simply because I just, I really want to make sure I'm getting to parallel. Because if I'm not going to parallel, or at least damn close to it, I'm I'm just going to shortchange myself. And again, the reason why I'm putting this routine on, the reason why I started it, is because my leg development is subpar. So it's basic. It, it it is literally like a back to basics scenario with me. And that's what I gotta do. I gotta go back to basics. So here we got the hacks again. My glorious Kekistan t-shirt. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Yeah, two sets of nine at uh, full plate and a 35 on each side. Now the way I mark it down in my journal, I have a training journal, if you don't have one, you should get one. The way I mark it down is I basically just, I write it as it would be on a barbell. So I write, oh, hi kitty. <laughs> if you heard that, that was one of my cats. So I, I, I write this weight down as 205. I know it's, I know it's not 205, but I write it down as 205. Hey, 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 no, this window is, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. I'm recording here, buddy. Calm down. I know it's not 205 pounds, but I write it as 205 because it's just easier for me to, you know, put the, it's easier for me to calculate the fucking weights in my head. So you'll see my training journal. If you do, it'll say 205 for the hack. And you're going to say like, well, that's not 205. It's actually this, but it's, it, for, for me, it's easier to calculate. I added five pounds on the leg press, so I'm doing 210 on the leg press, the way I have it written down, 210, for 15 reps. 
and I'm trying to do it where I'm going a bit slower down from a negative. The pump on the, when you're doing like the leg press for like that many reps, like you can see like I'm clenching the fists already, it, it's starting to burn. It's like, it's one hell of a pump, dude. Like I got done with the, I got done with everything. And I'm not really a, a guy that has a lot of vascularity on his quads. Like you don't see veins like popping out of my fucking thighs. But like there was some, there, there there was some vascularity there that day. There was. I should have got it on camera, but I didn't. Uh, I might get it on camera when I hit uh, the next session on Saturday. Oh, by the way, the pre-workout um, that I was taking was. Let me look at what I did for pre-workout. It was um, three quarters of a scoop of America Labs Red, White, and Boom. Three quarters of a scoop of America Labs Stars and Pipes. I'm gonna do a review on those uh, supplements in the future. And I mixed those with one scoop of uh, MTS Carb uh, 10 for the pre-workout. Uh, slow digesting carb. I don't wanna end up having a massive crash in the middle of my fucking I, I just don't want to have that crash. For the Romanian deadlifts, I started at 170, then went to 175, then 180, I believe? Or did I do 185? I don't know. I thought I did 185. I think I might have just done 180. Let me see. That is... Yeah, that's 175. I believe it is. Fucking camera. That is, yeah, that's two tens. Sorry, I'm just like the, the the lighting isn't really good. We got a couple of overhead lights in the gym that are out, so we got to replace them. So I'm trying to fucking strain my eyes to see. Uh, so that's what I take for my pre-workout. My intra-workout. Normally, it's just some basic amino acids and creatine hydrochloride, probably. Uh, for this intra workout, for leg day intra workout, I go with um, MTS machine fuel. I go with the watermelon flavor and I go with more carb 10. Simply because this is half of my body I'm working out. I, 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 I do chest twice a week, back twice a week, legs twice a week. Or why do push pull leg? That's the split that I do. So I'm not really working a massive amount when I'm doing push or I'm doing pull technically. But when I'm doing legs, I'm working out 50% of my muscle mass, at the very least 50%. I don't do calves, fuck that shit, I don't do calf muscles. Only faggots do calf muscle work. So I throw another scoop of fucking carb 10. It's, just, it's, it's, it's 25 carbs. 100 calories when you get the unflavored version like I get. And it's a slow digesting carb. So like during the workout, I'm pretty much just burning the glycogen that I have in the muscles already, plus whatever I get from that pre-workout carb 10. And the carb 10 that I'm taking in the intra-workout is just to give me more glycogen before I take my post-workout. Uh, leg curls, three sets, you know, three sets of 60 pounds at 15 reps. That's all I do for the leg curls. We have one leg curl machine, this is it. We don't have a standing one, we don't have a, a lying leg curl, lying on your side leg curl, don't have any of that shit. I'm pretty sure I could like jimmy the cable crossover um, apparatus to where I could do a leg curl standing it just feels really fucking weird like like it's, it feels really foreign like it's a weird movement to do so I don't really enjoy that it's just like eh, not 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 something I, I would prefer to do that being said I'm getting close to what I personally believe is what my working weight for the Romanian deadlift will be. Uh, I might be doing 185 for a few weeks to build up from that six to eight reps. So again, 
This is the, God, fourth workout I've done so far on this channel. And it's still going good. I've gained a few pounds. Uh, put a quarter inch on my quads. Don't know how much that's going to change. But, hey, it's a gain. So, like, comment, and subscribe.